Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a create account and verification process in Adobe Experience Design. So let's get started with today's tutorial. All right, so I have my document open in Adobe XD. I have just the iPhone 10 document open and it is called 10. You guys corrected me on that. I always want to call it iPhone X. The, the Roman numeral just throws me off, but I'm going to try my best to say iPhone 10 from now on. All right, so I've got that open and I'm just going to call this one 01. We're going to be making multiple screens because we're going to be prototyping this concept. In the intro, you guys seen what we're going to be making. All I did was I just put the prototype video in a mock-up of an iPhone X. I already did it. <laughs> I put the prototype in a mock-up of the iPhone 10. All right, so let's first start off by changing the fill color on our background to a nice blue. I'm going to add this over here, and I'm also going to add this to my assets panel on the left. And this is going to be the only color besides white that we use throughout this entire design. Now let's go ahead and set up our layout. So I'm going to be using a one column so I can get some spacing on the left and the right and the top. So I'm going to choose this icon and we're going to put 70 pixels on the top and 20 on the left, zero on the bottom and 20 on the right. And so that's going to give us a nice position up here. This is going to be where the tab is going to be for the phone, that little black thing. And then our icons for time and our battery will go up here. And then everything else will go in this little rectangle right here. All right, so we're going to need several assets from the Apple UI kit. So I'm going to go ahead and open mine up now. If you need this, you can go to File, Get UI Kit, and select Apple iOS, and then download that. So we're going to be needing a few things, but right now we're just going to grab the essentials. So I need this white bar, so I'm going to copy that. And I think that's all we need. Well, we need the bottom bar, I think, on this screen. So I'm just going to go in here and grab this one as well. So I'm just going to paste that status bar in and I'm going to align it to the top of my artboard. Down at the bottom, this white bar goes up nine pixels from the bottom, as you can see there. And that's all we need for now. All right, so let's just start off with the basic text. So I'm gonna say, create your account. I'm gonna set this to white fill. I'm also gonna add that to my assets for just easy access. And then this is gonna be basic sans and size. 30. Now I'm going to use something I don't usually use often. I'm going to make this italic. So I'm going to go to semi bold IT. I'm just going to make account go on the second line just so it looks a little better. And we also have room for our close icon that I'm going to be placing up here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that icon in now and just drag it to the corner. I'm going to make this 36 pixels by 36 pixels just so it's a little bit bigger. And I'm also going to change the fill color to white. So now we have that. Now below this, we're going to have three fields, one for the username, the email, and the password. I'm going to make just a sample text here. So I'm just going to call it text. I'm going to change this to size 20 and we're going to go with regular. I'm going to drop this 50 down below this text here. And I'm going to go over 10. This one is going to be a username. And since this text field is empty by default, I'm going to put this down to 70% opacity. So when we enter information in, it's a little bit darker. All right, so down below that, we're going to have a separation line. I'm just going to hold shift and drag this from this edge to this edge. We'll make that white. And we're going to place that about 23 from the bottom of the username. Then I'm going to copy the username, holding shift and alt and place that 23 below the separation line. And this one's going to be for our email. I'm going to grab both of these holding shift and select repeat grid and then drag down. I'm going to change the spacing to 23 to match what we had. And just press command shift G to ungroup that. And so in this one, I'm just going to put password. I'm going to drop both of these lines down to 15%. So I'm going to ungroup that and select both of them. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm just going to turn off the layout just so we can see what we have. And this is how our app is coming along so far. So now we're going to need an icon to go over here. And this is going to be a lock so you can toggle on and off showing the password. And I'll just paste that in. This one's going to remain 24 pixels by 24 pixels just because I don't want it to be quite as large as this X. 
So I'm gonna align that up to the password and to the edge here, turn layout back on, and you'll see it's lined up perfectly. Next, we need to have an already have an account button. So I'm just gonna drag this password down holding alt, and I'm gonna paste in a bit of text asking the user if they already have an account. We're gonna make this centered up and I'm gonna change this all the way to full opacity. We're gonna drop this down to 15 pixels on this size. And I'm gonna position this around 70 to 90 from the bottom of this bottom text here. So let's just go with 90. There we go. Make sure this is centered up. And then I'm gonna duplicate it and then just put log in. And we're gonna make that bold. And that's just gonna touch the bottom there and go down about seven or so pixels. So we have that. The last thing we need is our next button and this is gonna be the button that's gonna allow us to go to the next screen. So I'm just going to drag out a rectangle that goes from one side of our layout to the next side. I'm gonna make this about 45 pixels tall, I think would work good. And I'm just gonna put a thousand for the border radius just so if we scale this up it actually is still rounded remove the border and i think we can just go ahead and turn off the layout for now i don't think we need it this is going to go 75 pixels from the bottom of the document so i'm going to go up 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 1 2 3 4 5 and i'm just going to duplicate this password bring it to the front change it to our blue color make it full 100 percent opacity center align it and we'll leave it at 20. Make sure everything is nice and centered. And then I'm just gonna change this to next. And then we'll change it from regular to regular italic. That is gonna be our first screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this and then create a second screen. We're just gonna call this one 02. For this next screen, we're gonna go back to our Apple kit and we're gonna grab one of the keyboards. I personally like the darker colored keyboard, so I'm just going to select the entire screen and copy that. It's going to paste it in on the side, and I'm just going to hit Command Shift G to ungroup this several times until we can delete everything that we don't need. Uh, I'm just going to delete this bar here at the top with the autocorrect. We don't need that. And I'm going to save this and just drag this down. And the reason for that is if I delete that like I just did earlier, you can see that this is not uh, at full opacity, so it kind of looks a little weird. So I'm just gonna make sure that that is in the background and I'm gonna group it all together. We can delete this bar down here at the bottom since we already have one on the keyboard. Now this screen is gonna be after the user is already selected to start entering data. So they're about to type in their username and email address and etc. So I'm gonna drag this next button just up a little bit on the screen. We'll just drag it off to the side actually. And we'll just drag in this keyboard. This screen's pretty much the same as this one. All we need to do now is just make this next button quite a bit smaller. I'm gonna take it down to 100 pixels in width, and then I'll just center everything back up here. And then I'm just gonna group it. I'm gonna position this 20 from the right and 20 from the top of the keyboard. Now what we need to do is take these two texts and just select this button to align them to the left and then I'm going to select the align to the left button and we'll just stick that 20 from the side. You can also turn on your layout and see that they're lining up nicely here and I'm just going to group them together and center them up with this button. One thing I'm not liking is the amount of space we have in here so I'm just going to go into this group and I'm going to push this up to four I think on the spacing. And so I'll have to realign this with the next button. And then over here, I'm going to do the same thing like so. All right, so that's it for the second screen. All that happens is the user selects the field to enter in their content and this keyboard just slides up. This button slides down to this smaller size and this just realigns. So let's go and duplicate this and name this 03. And this is going to be the last uh, create account screen. All we need to do for this screen is just enter in all this information. So I'm gonna say mark underscore J, mark at email.com. And then for our password, we're gonna need some bullets. 
I'm going to grab my circle tool and just go with a six by six circle and remove the border. Now I'm going to center this up with the text and then delete password. After we align that, we can just select it and select repeat grid and we just drag over and I'm going to make this seven spacing. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven should be good enough. And we'll select these other two ticks and make them full opacity. And that's it for the create your account screens. Now we're going to move on to the screen where the user verifies their email address with a seven digit passcode. We'll just duplicate this screen and we can delete the keyboard. We can also delete the login screen. We need to change this text to done. The text up here at the top is going to say verify account. We'll just leave that all in one line. We're going to delete this close button. First, I'm going to turn on my layout grid and then delete it. I'm going to grab this bit of text and just change this to skip. And I'm going to place it centered with this text and right here on our edge. And then I'm going to make this regular italic. I'm going to delete all this text except our bulleted passcode. And we'll also delete the icon. I'm just going to put these in the center. We're going to need some adjustments on that in a minute. But first, let's go back into our Apple UI kit. Here in the UI kit, we're just going to grab uh, the number keyboard. So I'm going to copy that over and then just paste that in. I'm just going to grab this other keyboard and line it right next to it. I'm going to grab this black rectangle and drag it down to the same height as this keyboard. Delete that and then just stick this into position. I'm actually going to be naming this one 05 and I'll explain why in just a second. So we're going to take these bullets and make them slightly larger since they're the main focal point on this screen. We're actually going to be making them exactly double the size. So I'm going to select the first one and make it 12 pixels. I'm going to have to realign my repeat grid since it's now cutting off the screen. So go down there. And then in the spacing in between, instead of 7, we're going to go with 14 this time. Since it's a 7-digit code, we're only going to be needing 7 showing. And then I'm just going to select it and center it up. All right, so next we need some text below verify account. So I'm going to hold Alt and duplicate this skip. And I'm going to position it right below it. I'm going to give it 10 spacing from the bottom. And I'm going to change it from a point text to an area text. And then I'll just drag out the area all the way over. I'm also going to align the text to the left. This is going to be a 17 size text. All right, so with that at 17, I'm going to paste in a bit of text now. There we go. And I'm going to drag this down so we can see in the second line. And this is all going to be in just regular sized font. Right after that, I'm going to space and enter didn't receive an email and we're going to make this bold. So that's what the user is going to be selecting uh, if they didn't receive an email. So it's going to make them go through a process of resending it. Now we can position these bullets correctly. So I'm going to touch them to the bottom of this text area in 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I think going down 100 looks pretty good. I might go down 110. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's turn off the layout so we can see what we have. Okay, so now the reason I did this, the 05 is actually gonna be pushed over and I'm going to duplicate this holding Alt and just realign everything 70 pixels, there we go. And this one's going to be 04. The reason I did this is because the bullets we already had on the screen, so we might as well use them. I'm just going to add some numbers in replace of these bullets now. So I'm just going to make a bit of text. I'm going to put zero. I'm going to make this size 20. And then I'm just going to repeat grid on this. Line this right below them and then just drag over. I'm going to try to match this up as best I can. 14 spacing should work just fine. We should get the same result. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'll just position this right there. Send it to the back and then delete the bullets. All right, so now we have all five of our screens designed. We're gonna go ahead and prototype this up now. So we can switch from the design tab to the prototype tab, and we're gonna be using pretty much the same transition throughout except from screen three to four. So let's get started. 
So what we're going to be doing is when we select username, we're going to go to the screen with the keyboard popped up. We're going to dissolve and at 0.4 seconds with an ease out. After that, we're going to select the keyboard to type in the information. So then we're going to do the same transition, dissolve, ease out, 0.4 seconds. Now we have our information entered. So we're going to be going to the next page. So on the next button, we're going to change this from dissolve to push left. Now we're ready to verify our account. So we're going to select our keyboard to enter in these values. And that is going to go back to dissolve. 0.4 seconds and ease out. Lastly, all we have to do is select the done button and we can drag that back so we can cycle through this really nicely. So let's go ahead and click the live preview button. And this is what you're going to get. We select the username, select the keyboard to enter in our information, select next, select the keyboard to verify our account, and then press done. So that's going to be it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed making this create account and verification process in Adobe Experience Design. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. All the project files will be linked in the description. In the project files, I always include all the icons I use as well as the assets so you don't have to download anything extra. The colors will also be in there, of course, as well. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more UI-related content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.